hello my dear students uh, in this video shortly we shall look at uh, basics of uh, radiograph that to uh, x-rays so for this video are uh, there are five objectives uh, firstly you will be able to enumerate the types of shadows in uh, radiographs secondly you will be able to describe the position of source subject and film in radiographic procedure yes in any procedure of radiography we need source we need subject and we need a film so you will be able to describe the positions you will also be able to discuss about uh, how exposure time and intensity of x-rays affect the quality of film After this video, you will be able to explain what wave is in radiographs. Wave is, uh, which you already discussed when you look at an X-ray. This is AP view, lateral view, oblique view. What exactly it means, you will be able to understand. You will also be able to differentiate between plane and contrast radiographs coming to first objective uh, let us look at shadows in this is a, a simple or plain radiograph of uh, elbow joint where you are looking at uh, three different types of shadows in general so this is black shadow this is a muscular or skin or soft tissue shadow and this is dense or bony shadow so i can call it as air uh, soft tissue and dense part of the tissue in any uh, radiograph to be called as optimally exposed one we need to see these three shadows dense shadow soft tissue shadow and margin of the soft tissue and air around it and area of interest is usually focused the center of the field here the area of interest is elbow joint this is lateral view this is ap view you will know about view little more in detail in coming few minutes so shadows are soft tissue shadows dense shadows and air shadows now let us discuss about uh, position and exposure in any radiographic procedure we need a source and a film in between the source and film subject is placed source emits the rays x-rays they are passing through the subject and film is receiving the rays some of them are absorbed with the tissues of the subject some are not absorbed and directly falling on the film wherever rays hit directly without having any intervening tissue in between so that makes black shadow whenever rays are absorbed by some dense part of the tissue like bone so that makes white shadow or dense shadow soft tissues absorb certain amount of uh, x-rays and they will allow some of them to pass through them and that that's how they form uh, soft tissue shadows you need to understand two more terminologies here intensity of x-ray and duration of exposure if intensity of x-rays uh, or emission of x-ray is more uh, that can easily pass through the subject and that can make uh, the film overexposed or otherwise if duration of exposure is more say if it is for few milliseconds and then few more milliseconds and couple of more milliseconds if the exposure is done then also x-rays will all the rays passing through the subject will reach the film that will also makes the exposure overexposed you will understand about this much more better when you look at the next so here you can see four different uh, 
patterns of x-rays taken for the same uh, area palm hand so this I can call as underexposed and this I can call it as extremely overexposed overexposed means here intensity may be more or duration of exposure is more one thing you should remember at this level is an optimally exposed radiographic film will have all the three different types of shadows which are clearly seen air soft tissues and dense tissues this is optimally exposed one now coming to view view is how x-rays uh, look at the subject or pass through the subject in other way, other way uh, let us think the, this is source and uh, film here subject is positioned in between if uh, hand is placed here and palm is facing towards source and dorsum of the hand is uh, facing towards film uh, the source of x-ray that is rays are first looking at palm and they are passing through the palm and they are going to dorsal side and finally reaching the film so this is how rays are looking at the position of the body this becomes a p v exposure exposure is anteroposteriorly exposed and at the same time one more example i would like to give if person is standing here as a, a subject and facing the source chest is facing the source and back is facing the film rays will pass through the chest from anterior to posterior side then again the view becomes ap view if it turns around if film is face uh, towards the chest and back is facing towards the source then the exposure becomes pa view rays are passing from posterior to anterior coming to simple or plain x-rays versus special or contrast x-rays here you can find uh, the diagrammatic representation of source subject and film subject is shown in different color here this is the signal subject is the key here who is deciding whether it is going to be plain x-ray or special x-ray if person or subject or any part of the body is kept between the source and film and x-rays are taken just like that that becomes plain x-ray here usually bones are visualized or dense part of the body are visualized or calcified ca cartilages if there are any which are visualized to make some hollow viscous visual in x-rays we can introduce some radio opaque substances into the body like barium meal into the esophagus or barium enema into the large intestine like that we, we, we are introducing radio opaque substances into the subject then x-rays are taken we are preparing the subject before procedure that is contrast x-ray or special x-ray contrast material is used here into the body which is not uh, normally present which is uh, showing the shadows of uh, those organs which are usually radiolucent in this uh, slide you can see two uh, radiographs one of them here is a plain one where subject is exposed without any uh, preparation where you can see soft tissue shadows air shadow around and here the dense bony uh, shadow or dense shadow here this is a contrast where contrast material can be seen which is filling the rectum uh, descending colon transverse and ascending colon which says that uh, there is radio opaque substance which is introduced into the body before procedure this becomes contrast x-ray to summarize so now you are able to enumerate three different types of shadows in radiograph so which is the best radiograph you can call where you see three different shadows air shadow soft tissue shadow and dense or bony shadow and you are aware of po uh, the positions where the source is where the film is where the subject is yes between source and film we need the subject in radiographic procedure x-rays how exposure time and intensity of x-rays affect the quality of film you are now aware to discuss these things
exposure time if it is more or intensive to the x-ray x-rays if it is more that will lead to over exposure and blackening of the film and how do you explain weave in radiographs weave is how uh, x-rays are passing through uh, the subject in ap weave from anterior posterior direction rays are passing through in oblique weave from side to side we rays are passing in pa weave from posterior anterior side through the subject rays are passing this is how x rays look at the subject weave and now you are also enabled to discuss between or differentiate between plane and contrast radiographs plane is something simple just uh, subject is placed in between source and film rays are x rays are taken or passed a contrast contrast material is used to visualize some radio lucent hollow viscous inside the body that is special x ray thank you for your patience